and we are about to start. We are going live. So, yeah. Hello guys, welcome back. This is game 2 in this official match of the NSL, the NSL Season 1 Week 1 matchup between Quaxi and the team. Again on Summit Game 2 with um, the team being lead 1-0 and we are in Summit cross form positions and with me again is Gohan Setter. Hey, good evening. Good evening. Nice evening. Awesome evening. More and more games to come over here. We have a 2-1-1 two, two, one, one split? No. Th oh, actually 3 Marines. 4 Marines in Reactor Core. Yeah. Looks like the 3-1-1 three, one, one split you usually see but with a slight deviation. That's kind of dangerous. And the com actually. getting out of the uh, seat build. <clears throat> and we see a pretty aggressive alien team, which now kind of pays off for Marines. Makes actually sense to go for fast mines to secure the base against any kind of pushes if you have four Marines that in one direction. And. Did not see oh, the and we see already. Two extractors drop for the aliens as well. But I went for both directions. That's kind of um, unusual. Most of the times I see Ellen just focus on one direction only towards the second hive to really defend that spot. Right now ventilation is pretty tough to hold for them. Yeah. And um, it's quite likely they will lose ventilation now. And we also got Henny now coming to fly control. Let's see how this will work. There's two Skarks setting up an ambush. Sold that in Cassesa. Oh, very nice. And we see Derpy who was uh, actually, the builder, the rest, the rest capper, now joining the three-man pressure team in ventilation, while the former pressure team member Noe is uh, already tried to join up. He's now stuck in data core as his marine squad mates just get wiped out in ventilation. Yeah, but the tip down ventilation even though they lost the pressure group is a really nice job by them. Killing Harvest really early on uh, is exactly what they want to do. They now have also a lot of mine packs in base, even some on the bottom. Looks like two packs of mines being dropped in total. And yeah, they're going for the same route again. Um, I'm not quite sure if they know the comp lab has been dropped, but... Yeah, there, there should be a third yeah. packs of mines around somewhere. Yeah. According to Pires. Oh no, he doesn't see, doesn't hear the skulk behind him. Nice kill by Rap, so. Oh, and we already got a shift again for the alien team, so we might see quite early celerity for Team Quoxy as well. And yep, celerity just now finished as he said that, and they re drop ventilation, so it's actually not really bad by Marines to go the same route. Uh, it's actually a really good choice because when you kill a harvester and there's already tons of cysts in the alien just cleared out the pressure group, most of the times, like 9 of 10 times, they would just redrop the harvester after them. So going to the same spot is not a bad move. Very nice setup by the team there in pipeline. Two scouts taking out two marines. But, yeah, I think aliens are a little bit too aggressive right now. They're keeping. Well, they, they got down flight control, but they might lose ventilation again as three man marine pressure team is coming in again. And we see a gorge guard on. So we get again, yeah, the pressure now ventilation. I'm not quite sure if they will be able to defend it. There's just one, two skulks. They need to wait for more, but oh my goodness, B hag is just completely splitting from the group, jumping down the yeah, ceiling. Yeah, and that's built as down. That was a bad idea by him, or maybe a mistake. Oh! Yeah, probably some miscommunication. Yeah, and also but a nice kill by Mok there. Some forcing Marines to retreat. That was some pretty important kills. So now they've saved ventilation. I'm pretty sure about it. And one v one engagement in crosshairs as well. Pretty low stoke. Last ammo. He has to reload, and <laughs> Raps are not getting the kill out. Oh. oh yeah. And down he goes. And Aaron even taking down Data Core Rest Tower. But it's pretty hard to tell who's in the lead right now. I think both teams t take some blows. Kill losing the harvester early on is of course not good for them, but in overall they did fairly fine. The only thing I'm kind of worrying about is they're sitting on 54 resources and not getting the second hive yet. Yeah, I think they're not quite sure where to drop that, whether to drop it in flight control 
Oh, data core. Oh, and here we go. Hard drop right in front of Penny's head, actually. <laughs> yeah. And we see immediately shotguns and face tech going up. Oh, Penny yeah. manages to somehow stay alive in there and gets up in face gates. This would mean a dead half, but we only see a lurk coming in. That was quite, kind of unfortunate here um, by aliens. They, they waited um, more and more time to be sure there's no marine in here. So one skulk was actually looking at a harvester if there's a marine in here and he didn't see Henny in the back of the hive. So it was kind oh, of when we see Ventilation is about to go down due to two marines shooting it. Oh no, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, just Ice. two bullets, kill it, kill it! Oh no! No way! Oh god, what are you doing? This was so unlucky for it, Marines. That was terrible! Just two <laughs> yeah, just two <laughs> pistol shots would have killed off this, this rest tower. Oh, uh, yeah, indeed. I, I I, don't know, they should be able to see it. Yeah. But And now we see an avian team, which is comfortable three rest towers, and a hive growing up, which should finish without a problem. Unless Marines get a face gate in some reception or computer lab. But computer lab is very unlikely. So I think currently, if aliens um, get this hive up, manage to secure it, they're in a solid lead from here. Because the last engagements, they all won those and they defended ventilation twice with 2 HP on it, um, or 2%. Um, yeah, and also have more resource collectors in total than Marines. Problem is, there now there comes a big push, and I think this is this game deciding now. If it can take down flight control, Marines can kind of come back to this game if they're not there in really tough spot. And Bombing is got a gorge on the hive. So this shouldn't be too bad. So here you go, the enemies are now coming in. The well, this might be... Oh! They mm -hmm. should have engaged earlier. They could have easily defended the hive. But it looked like they were kind of unsure whether to go in or not. Well, they were kind of. I, I think they were just waiting. The, the good. I think the good idea about it was waiting to have like all the marines put like five, six pellets into the hive, so they don't have much ammo left when they engage. Um, but it was from there kind of obvious they just suicided on a hive. Yeah, it's quite a good deal still. Even if they lost all the three, all the three shotguns, they killed the hive, which was about I think 80% built. So this delays aliens quite a lot. And we see, again, Marines about to kill flight control. As most of the alien team is spread out. Oh my goodness. That's 80 teamers. 80 teamers down the drain. Wow. There was some big blunders here by, by Quaxi. They actually had this game. They had to rest lead. They had really nice engagements before that. They just needed to defend this hive and kind of screwed it up there. Yeah. And we see... Marines actually egg locking aliens in sub access. Oh, one egg managed to hatch, but the spur only is taking some severe damage, down to 50%. And now they only have the lurk to defend the main hive. Yeah, and lurk has to watch out against the shotgunners. You can feel a oh, lot of Aaron is coming in from the air now, oh, finally. I think they should just finish off the spur, yeah. which they are about to do now. Honey, come on, there yeah, we go. There yeah. we go. <clears throat> yeah, I think he was just baiting there for aliens to get down there so Derpy could shoot from high ground with a shotgun. Oh, and the drug does get on as well. Derpy just pistol oh. Kaseer, Kaseer's, uh on top of it. Wow, that's actually really amazing how the team just completely turned around this game. They had like between a 2 minute mark and 7 or 6 minute mark so bad luck, lost so many engagements while aliens had really nice defense. Well, Marines are down to one rest tower again now. And they only have 3 rest so it will take them some time, quite some time to get uh, rest flowing again. Yep. Oh yeah, exactly. Look at that. 4 team rest. They need to wait 5 more ticks to get even a second half extractor up. Uh, but on the other hand, flight control is only 50% grown at the top. At the moment, yeah, they should actually the crevice people should go to fly control, and one of the guys in crossroads can go cap a node soonish in reactor core. 
That's what probably I would do, like send four people again to fly control and one cap reactor core side. Or maybe crevice then. No way he's doing that. Okay, and it looks like enemies are still going to expand. They have assisted all the way into crossroads, ready to drop an RT, have free drop ventilation. So killing the extractor steer is the... Well, it was actually really good by Quoxy in here, so it could save them the game. Just imagine Marines had like 3-4 extractors by now. Yeah, they would have have uh, would have had uh, superior upgrades. Probably already weapons 3 at this point. <laughs> oh, oh, nice kills by Mirrors. Yeah, Mirrors managed to take down one Marine. Marines now finally up to two extractors again. And I love Rapso team. I don't know how many extractors he killed, but you can see he's constantly checking for recappers if they kill it. So they can completely keep marines down to low eco and even though with losing those two hives um, and here we go. they're in a good spot yeah, second hive is up blink started immediately as three three players on team quaxi already have almost have the rest to go fade two of them already have one is about to be there once blink is up and this probably could be a a turnaround for the alien team. Yeah. As fates are really, really, really annoying, especially when you only have armor one. Yeah, and weapon one, but weapon one is not enough, I guess. Blink celerity, only thing that's missing is carapace from here. I think they dropped a the shell already somewhere. That would make sense, they have 20 resources excessive, so should have right. a shell somewhere, that's for sure. And they already have a crack hive researched. Uh, I think it's operating now? No, it's building. So, yeah. It's all inside flight control. Actually, with the spawn position... first I've already up. Uh, first fade up, sorry. Never mind, so Rapso is now fading. The next fade will be Murs or Soldat or uh, Aaron after that. In the meantime, Reactor Core almost went down again. 17%. Most likely it will go down pretty soonish. And here we go, Blink is completed. Kerpus should be done quite soon. Oh no, they get leap first. Oh, Probably yeah, they actually. totally forget yeah. about uh, Carapace. No, I'm not, not sure if they forget about it. They get leap and probably next Carapace. They have the shell now finished. Oh yeah, I see. And need 15 resources, I guess. So they could now get it, but there's no one in the hive. Never mind, Mulk Mulk is in the hive. Quite sure if he knows where the shell is or. He's looking for that, but seems like a mistake right now. Yeah, and here we go. Kaseyas takes down. Oh, Kaseyas. Ah, oh, sorry, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce his name. But he took down reactor core. Uh, keeping the marine extracted. They only killed seven, but um, they are completely avoided rest capping or so. Oh, look at that! They even used the. Um, yeah, the infestation spikes. Uh, have, yeah, and now we see spikes have a different name now. Oh, I don't. Yeah, but I know what you know mean. They call <laughs> now we see a form and pressure team out of Marines killing Crossroads Rest Tower. Which is not quite that big of a deal. Oh, and we got a beacon. And as, wow! Oh, the aliens managed to take down the main power node. You know, beacon one Command second too late, and that's attack. that's always when you have yeah. four marines one somewhere in the map, especially on a low important spot like crossroads. That's where it's really dangerous. Oh, and here we go. Data core has been dropped, but and really GG has been like called. GG. So yeah, that's because they will lose oh. the main base now. The power is down. They did not beacon, and from here, the game is over. Nice job by Quoxy. Even though losing two highs, the, the low EQ situation by the team was completely breaking the neck. Yeah, very nice play there. So, we have a 1-1 one -one tie right now in this official match of the NSL, of the NSL Season 1, Week 1, between Quoxy and the team, and we will have...